And just when I thought I should leave because nothing new would happen, I turned the corner to see people watering their horses in the river. Such a pretty sight. I'm Laura, and in early 2020, I quit my job to travel the world. Since I can't hop country to country, I'm taking a closer look at some of the great places we have in the United States. Hit subscribe to join me on my big adventure. Where this week, I'm in Cuyahoga Valley, enjoying the fall colors in Ohio's National Park. Good morning, everyone. It's our last day here at Cuyahoga National Park, and we're taking it slow. We're gonna start at Beaver Marsh. We're at the Ira Trailhead and we're gonna hike in. There's a boardwalk that goes over the marsh. It's not very long, we got coffee, it's early. A lot of times wildlife is more active and they have otters and beaver here and we're just gonna see what we can find. Trailhead, we actually start out on the towpath trail. This trail runs the length, north and south, of the whole national park. It's an entire trail system here in Ohio, and it's really neat how many people are out today. I've noticed a lot of bird watchers, so I actually stopped and asked what bird they're looking for, and it's a wobbler, and then she also mentioned that there's black ducks at the marsh, so we should be able to see those. I can't help you with the other birds, I'm not a bird watcher. One of the things about Cuyahoga National Park is that the Erie Canal actually ran through here. So there's a lot of locks that are in the park. This is lock 26. So with the elevation changes along the Erie Canal, they needed locks. They could dam up the water on one side, raise the boat level, and then get it through. So this is lock number 26 on the Erie Canal. I was just saying I wouldn't help with bird watching, but I just saw two blue jays, and I think that's as good as it's gonna get for me today on the bird watching. These are some of the best fall colors I've seen since I've been here though, so that's pretty great. such a fun surprise. I expected to come enjoy my coffee, take a few pictures, and of course look for beavers and otters, but I could tell by the ranger's reaction yesterday that it was very unlikely that I would see them. Instead I found out that this is a migratory bird trail, so I was talking to a few of the people looking for birds. And the conversation started with me taking video of the leaves, and when I got closer to them they were like, oh what did you see? And I was like, well, the wind was blowing and the leaves were pretty and that's all I had and they said oh we just saw three bald eagles so they were taking a picture of three bald eagles while I was busy taking a picture of leaves so if you're looking for wildlife this is definitely a cool place to check out if you have the patience to look for birds they're here waiting for you I have three more stops to make before I head home so I'm headed back to the car but I have to say I am definitely keeping a closer eye out for those birds I 
I mentioned that we have three more stops to make today and I wanted to give you an idea of where we're at on the map. So right now we're at Beaver Marsh. We spent a little more time here than expected. It's already noon. I want to go to the sweet corn farm. The covered bridge is really close and I want to go see it because I think that with fall it's going to be really pretty. And then the hike for today is actually at Kendall Lake. Someone told me yesterday that they have three bridges in succession and that the leaves have started to change. So Kendall Lake is our hike before we head home. The bonus is if we can find the train. The sweet corn farm is right off of the towpath. So at the Hunt Family Farm Visitor Center, it's right across the canal. It's fall. I just learned that they don't have school today for teacher in service. So this place is hopping. I'm gonna have my mask on, so I probably won't talk very much, but let me show you around. I don't think I've ever seen so many pumpkins in one place in my whole life. This is amazing. Have to get a video of the tractor. Start a pumpkin patch so you can get a huge tractor. Okay, in the fall, normally they only have food on Saturday and Sunday, which I was disappointed about because it's Friday. But I bet because school's out, they have food. So I have roasted sweet corn and lemonade. Super excited. I might go back for ice cream. We'll see. It seems like that would make a really balanced lunch. That's so good. A productive stop. Parking for the covered bridge is just around the corner from the farm. It's really turning out to be such a nice day. It's about 75 degrees now. These trees are gorgeous. I think that I'm gonna get some good pictures. To get this picture, I'm gonna have to cross the river. And it will, it's, it's a little chilly. Mm. Oh, that's cold. It never ceases to amaze me what happens when you get outside and travel. I was really disappointed when I walked up because there's a road closed sign at the end of the bridge so I thought I wouldn't get any pictures and then I noticed people on a side trail down to the river and just when I thought I should leave because nothing new would happen I turned the corner to see people watering their horses in the river. Such a pretty sight.
just arrived at Kendall Lake. I'm hiking the Salt Run Trail. Let me go see if I can find these bridges. Seems like we could have managed to walk over the hill, but that is nice. can't think of a better last stop here at Cuyahoga Valley. This national park is certainly one that needs to be taken in slowly. A few things surprised me. I really liked the ledges. They just popped out of nowhere. This morning meeting the bird watchers at Beaver Marsh and of course the waterfalls. It's always nice to see a waterfall. It requires a little research to figure out what you want to do while you're here. So if you've been here before, leave a comment. Let everyone know what your favorite thing was here in the park. I am hiking back to the car and then headed home. If you want to know where I'm headed next, make sure that you subscribe and you will be the first to know. Apparently he just wanted to get that far and he doesn't need to slither away, so that's good. I was talking to someone when I passed him, so let's hope I didn't almost step on the snake. Also, I have to come back this way, so that's good. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll help me bring you along on my next adventure.